Hey everyone, Girl Meets Pixels here and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 2 Open for Business. So last time in the very first part of this LP, um, we just met our characters, Ella and Emma, and just kind of explained their backstory and you know what they're doing. So just to recap, we're creating a business, we're gonna run it and um, see how it goes basically. <laughs> Um, but also, you know, get Ella and Emma more advanced into their life and just see how everything happens. Just like have everything, have them start families or whatever happens. We're just going to see. Um, so I had put for you guys to vote what business you guys want us to do. And it was, <laughs> I was going to say it was a pretty close running, but it was not. Uh, 58 votes on uh, running a bakery. So that's the one that won. I'm pretty excited about that. I, I think it's been a really long time since I ran a bakery in The Sims 2. Um, flower shops used to be like my thing. I like loved the flower shops. So that one came in second. And then third was a restaurant. But then I said we'd have to buy a plot of land instead of staying at home. Um, and then no one really cared about running an art store or a toy store or a furniture store. So um, but I'm really happy with the bakery and yeah, so thank you guys so much to um, everyone that voted. Thank you for giving your input. Uh, but yeah, okay, so let's jump into the game. There we go. Okay, so I wanted to show you. So I renovated the entire loft area. I'm just going to call it the loft. I just feel like this is like a loft kind of home. I'm going to call it the loft. So I renovated the loft and uh, someone commented, I can't remember who and I'm really sorry, but someone commented saying, hey, uh, why don't you make it so the business side is with the patio so that they can have people go sit outside or whatnot. And I was like, that is a great idea. I love that idea. And so that's what I did. So I switched it up from what it was in the last part. Uh, so this is their home area. This is their actual home. Over here we have um, the pathetic kitchen. We got, you know, a phone, um, this thing that I forgot what it was called. Um, I still can't remember what it's called either. We have a bookcase and a couch. And I used to use this couch all the time for all my newbie sims that were like starting out. I don't know. I think it's so cute with like the flowers and stuff. I don't know. I think it's cute. Um, and then over here, this door leads into the business so that they can quickly, you know, go through. Obvi obviously, this will be locked to everyone else, you know. And then right here we have... The business and so I set it up it's a bakery so I have four um, holding cases so that the food can stay cold and everything you have to use that for food um, so we'll be baking cakes and pies and whatnot and yeah and then here's like the checkout area and whatnot and a little flower pot to give some color and then I changed out the doors and stuff and there's a door that leads back out here to this crappy crappy dining set um, but yeah so you can come out here and chill so obviously over time we are going to expand, but I feel like we have a decent start, honestly, with the business. Uh, up here is the loft. I changed it up a tiny bit. Um, as you can see, it looks really cool because you can like look down below. I just love that. I would totally live in a place like this. I love it. It's so open and airy. I painted everything white. I feel like it really opened it up and um, I don't know. I, I really like the color white, so... Um, these are the two beds. They are crappy little Ikea beds. Obviously, we're gonna have to expand over time. Right now, though, I wanted to still keep them with some kind of money. So, yeah. Anyways, so this is Ella's bed. That's their names, right? It's been... Okay, yeah. Uh, so this is Ella's bed, and then over here is Emma's bed. Um, Ella's is a little bit more flirty and girly, and then Emma's is a little bit more simple. I figured she would be the one to, like, decorate the place, so it's all, like, white and black. That's kind of, like, the color scheme. Although, like, personally, that's just, like, my, my favorite colors. <laughs> and then we have the bathroom, which I just painted white. And kind of rearranged it around a bit. But yeah, like I'm super excited. Like I'm so excited. Okay, so I just want to get like into this. And I'm actually going to boost up. I'm trying to see. I'm testing my volume. I'm going to boost up my uh, sound volume real quick. Or like my game volume. So that you guys can hear a little bit better. Okay, I fixed it. So, okay, I'm excited. Like I'm just excited. Oh, they did a family kiss. I was like, why are they kissing? <laughs> Um, okay, so Ella wants to flirt, so I'm going to lock that in. And Emma, I already locked in what she wants. She's not going to get into that business thing, whatever. Um, but they do need to use the bathroom. I don't know why it always starts them out with like such like low 
and bathroomness. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where to start. I'm just like so overwhelmed and I'm like so excited. Oh, I love this game. It was so much fun. Okay. And eventually like I want to add a bathroom down here in the business. I just, I don't know. I always like adding bathrooms because I feel like what if like a customer has to go to the bathroom? Um, anyway, so when Emma is done, she's going to come down here. As you can see, the main thing for open for business is if you're going to run a business, you need this little handy dandy sign so that you can open and close your business uh, whenever you want. But um, to set up a business, you are going to have to call and set that up on the phone. So business and start home business. Oh wait. I feel like I'm not prepared to do that. I take it back. I'm not ready to do that yet. Well, I guess I can. Never mind. I guess I can. We just won't open yet because I want them to kind of work on their cooking skill and getting some stuff prepared so that when they finally open, they'll have a bunch of stuff to already sell, if that makes sense. Um, lock. Okay. And then I'm going to go through and lock. So like, Hold on. Would you like to start a home business with Emma as the owner? If you would like to start a community lot business, choose real estate on the phone or computer. Okay, yeah. We want to start a home business. I'm just going to have Emma as the owner. Technically, they're both the owners, um, but yeah, that works. Okay. So as you can see, if you've never played this before, this little thing will pop up on the side and it says, congratulations, you can start selling items and services at home and the business tracker will, will, will record your progress. And so basically this is just like how you run your business. So this right here will show you your customer loyalty and if they like you or not. This will be your employees once we hire people. I feel like there's two of them right now. We don't need employees yet, but definitely in the future we will. Um, and then... This is cash tracker. It's very actually intricate for a game. Um, but this is, it shows your cash flow basically. And this is your business information. It shows your rank, um, the name of what you are. So it's a middling merchant right now. And that will go up as your rank goes up. Uh, business value, so how much your business is worth. And then customer loyalty stars. You will um, earn stars from your customers being loyal to you. Uh, your business needs three customer loyalty stars to reach the next level. And then this right here is where you can go through. You can basically set anything in the entire game for sell. So if I wanted to sell these doors, I would just use this and then I can decide how much it is and whatnot. So once we bake some cakes and pastries and stuff, I will go in and use this to set things on sale. And then obviously I can go and hide this. But yeah, so that's kind of like the basic rundown of that. Um, so Emma, now that you're done, you've started our business. I'm going to have her come study cooking. I don't think there's like a separate baking cooking kind of thing, right? Anyways, I want to go through and lock the doors. So that's all ready. We don't have to worry about that. Excuse me, sir. We did not open our business. Oh, we did. Oh my gosh. Close the business. Close the business. <laughs> I was like, excuse me, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. See, this is why we have to lock the doors. Okay. Oh, greetings. They call me Mr. Humble and I'm here to bestow upon you a great gift. This box contains Sims, Sims wonders that will dazzle and amaze. You have been awarded this for reasons far too great to tell. Open it if you dare. Open it, I say. Oh my gosh. We have like all these people in our house. Okay, everyone leave. Yes, Armando. Get out. Get out. Okay, no, you're not going to insult your sister. You are going to go learn how to cook. <laughs> Um, and Ella here is going to come open this gift. Okay. So I guess when you start your business, it turns it to the open sign, but you know what? No, we're not ready. We are not ready yet. Anyways, I want to lock doors. As you can see, all the, like the customers started going into our house. Obviously we do not want that. Um, so let's allow household and employees only right here. And same for here. This will be allow household and employees only. And then... This will be for everyone. Everyone can, and I think that's it. And we'll just lock this just in case. Um, but yeah, so now only the household and people that we hire can go into this area. So that's good. Anyway, so the gift from Mr. Humble turns out to be a new computer for you and your family. Perhaps this machine and the game included on it are signs of things to come. The computer has been placed into your inventory. So we can set that up. Why not? It will give them something fun to do because we don't have anything that will be entertaining. So let's put down a desk. I think we'll just put it in here. 
and we'll just place this cheap little one down and let's get a little chair is there like desk chair or is it just regular chairs um oh we'll do this ikea one no and we could do like a pop of red kind of like in the couch and then we'll go in and add oh my gosh i don't think i added lights throughout the house oh darn it i just remembered okay let's put a lamp on here <laughs> um let's see let's put that's a weird light let's just put this down just like a little lamp desk or a desk lamp a lamp desk and then over here um hold on let's see what it looks like it's like super dark. It's going to be super dark. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, in the kitchen, we'll just do a hanging light. We'll just do like this. Beautiful. Beautiful. And um, here we can just do a standing lamp, honestly. Just, yeah. No. It's not going like, to want to go in the center. And that's going to drive me crazy. So, JK. We'll do like this little lamp. I don't know there that works and let's toss the light into here okay cool I just remembered that and I already have lights in the business as you can see okay so then we'll just go into um, their inventory oh it's in Ella's and put it down so now they can play Sims 3 that's what the surprise was on here but yeah and Armando I don't think we're gonna answer right now um, to be quite honest I guess we can I think Ella will. She's a lot more social, I feel like, um, so she can go greet him. I mean, we need friends, and it would help our business in the long run, so it works. Anyway, so I'm going to wait for um, Emma to get her first um, cooking skill. And then we can... Oh, are you kidding me? How am I going to do this? He can't go in because it says... Okay, I guess we'll have to, okay, we'll unlock it now. That's annoying. Um, so during business hours, we'll just have to remember to relock it so that people don't go into there, which kind of makes it a hassle, but that's okay. Oh, so Emma has earned her very first skill point. So she's gonna stop that. Oh my gosh, Ella just like greets Armando and then just goes and sits on the computer and plays Sims. Sounds like me. Um, I guess we'll serve lunch for both of us. We'll have lunch meat sandwiches. Um, also, as you can see here, it says serve dessert. So we can make gelatin and Santa cookies so far. Uh, once she gets a higher cooking skill, we can obviously get more options. Um, and we also can sell some of the cakes and stuff that are in buy mode and put those for sale too. So I think we'll do that. Um, Ella, how about you stop being rude and just come talk and get to know Armando. Yeah, maybe he can work for us in the future if he, if we get a good relationship with, with him. Tell a story about art. Okay. Um, obviously, she's going to go serve it here, but that's okay. Oh, is this the welcome way? The way again? Wow. I like just all of a sudden got um, an accent. The welcome way again. Okay, cool. So we have, let's see, who do we have here? We have Malcolm Landgrab the sixth, right? I, yeah, I think so. He's apparently like the rich guy in this town. Then we also have, who are you? Chico Ramirez, he owns a furniture store, and who are you? Lisa Ramirez, and so they're married. Perfect, so, um, they're, well, they were gonna eat. Okay, let's come greet everyone. Okay. Just eat those sandwiches, I guess. Um, but Ella is gonna come make some friends. Oh, she talks to Malcolm. Oh, I had her click on him, duh, girl, don't be stupid. <laughs> Okay. Look how tan he is. Oh, he's like so tan. He's kind of he's kind of a rude guy though. We don't really like him. Anyways, we'll put those um, as leftovers. We can have leftovers. Um, or I guess we could just call everyone to it. Call to meal. We'll call the guests. Why not? And Ella will go eat too. Whoops. She'll come eat as well. Why not? We'll be like, hey everyone, we made you some sandwiches. It works. Okay. And so she's going to come out here. And I feel like she'd want to talk to um, the Ramirez's. Because I feel like they're very, like, really good um, 
business owners. And so I feel like she would want to talk to them and be like, hey, what's your insight on running a business? Like, what do you think about this? So I feel like that's just like something she would do. So she's going to talk to Chico here and then maybe come talk to Lisa. Entertain with a joke. Okay. And so Ella is still talking to Armando. To be kind of honest, Armando's kind of cute. They'd, they'd be kind of cute together. Not gonna lie, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna start pairing off Ella yet. Um, but you know it doesn't hurt to test the waters and flirt around a bit, right? Okay. So as soon as we get done with talking with everyone, we really need to work on getting some things baked and ready so that we can you know start selling them. Oh, it's raining. Okay, Ella, eat your sandwich. Emma, she's talking to her. Okay, um, we'll have her go put... Okay, we don't need the matchmaker right now. Go put away leftovers. And Ella is not going to talk... Be complained at. Hey, Malcolm. What the heck, buddy? Oh, he's like angry. Oh, goodness. He is very angry. Be complained at. Why is everyone complaining? Because it's raining? Like, what the heck? Okay, okay. Everyone's just complaining. Let's just ask everyone to leave. I'm over it. I'm done. Um, anyways, so we will have her. I don't want to make Santa cookies because I feel like it's summer and, like, it wouldn't make sense. Okay. Ask everyone to leave. Say goodbye to everyone. Goodbye. Please leave. Okay, what'd she do? No, don't serve, don't serve, don't serve, don't serve. No, 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 no. Put it down. Fudge, now we can't use that. Okay. Go put away leftovers. Darn it. Okay, because we don't want her to like take it piece by piece. So we're going to, wait, Armando, are you gonna leave? Okay, thanks, buddy. And can she study like anything? I guess she could study cooking too. It wouldn't hurt for both of them to know how to cook. Okay, so we're going to redo this. I'm going to serve dessert gelatin. And then we're gonna make sure she puts it down before she actually serves it. Okay. Okay, put it down. Okay. So we're going to go into bad mode, and we're going to bring it over here. I think we can display. I don't know how many things we can display. Is it like two for each thing? I don't know. Anyway, so we're going to put it on this first one. And then if we go into here, then we can set the price. Oh. Okay, so we're just I'm just gonna keep it at average. I think that's a decent price. 83 simoleons. I mean it's not that bad. I think we'll keep it there. I think that's a good place to start out. Um we can also go into here. Where is it? Where is it at? I don't know. Where is cakes? Like birthday cakes. Parties. Okay. So, ooh, that's a lot of different cakes. So we can go in and actually um, use any of these to sell. And we can also do wedding cakes, which is pretty awesome. So I think we'll do um, a wedding cake. Let's do a decadent biddle bop cake. Oh, no, let's organize it. Let's put the cakes. Okay, I got it. I got it. We can put cakes over here. We'll put the gelatin and smaller desserts over here so that the first thing that they see when they come in is like these really nice cakes. Um, we'll do two different wedding cakes right here. Oh my gosh, is it really that expensive? 400 simoleons. Oh. <gasps> JK. Okay, let's do birthday cakes. Okay, we'll do this one. It's a purpley culinary counter. Okay, um, and then we'll do the classic um, regular cake. So, oh, we can put stuff on the bottom, okay. This is buttery culinary counter, and we'll do this one too. There, that works for now. Um, whoops. And then let's put these for sale. So they will sell at 31 simoleons, which is not bad. Okay, cool, so we have some stuff. Um, but I really want them to make their own stuff. But I kind of want to open the business, not going to lie. But it's like evening time. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get some stuff prepared and have them bake some stuff. And then um, 
No, what are you doing? Um, and then I will catch back up with you guys in the morning because I really want to sell some stuff in the first part. Oh my gosh. So I will catch back up with you guys in the morning. Okay, so it is morning time now and they are just getting up. They're up pretty early, um, 6.30 in the morning. I want them to open by, I think, 8 o'clock. I think that's a good time, 8 or 9. Um, but overnight, I had them serve up some uh, gelatin and I also had them make some toaster pastries. Did these go bad? No, okay. That was just the bowl she brought inside. I was like, they shouldn't go bad. Um, as you can see, uh, Emma burned them, one of them, and then Ella uh, was good on the other ones. But um, I want to go in. We got to price this stuff. This one I'm going to put at, like, very cheap. And then this one, no, whoops. That's, there we go, average. Um, so, you know, why not sell the burned ones? We should still get money, right? <laughs> it counts, right? Um, anyways, she needs to have breakfast as well. She'll just have some cereal. Um, but it is 7 o'clock in the morning now. I say they should open, I don't know, probably like 8.30 or so. And I'm really excited. So Emma is going to, well, they're both going to do all aspects of the bakery. But I feel like Ella is going to be a little bit better at the sales part of it. And Emma is going to be a little bit more into like the baking of it. But, oh, okay, same. But yeah, so I don't know. I think, yeah, we'll just see. We'll just see how it goes. Anyways, so Emma is going to take her bowl and clean that up because obviously we don't want it to be all messy out here on the very first day of business. Um, and then she is going to change. Wait, do I need a dresser? Darn it, I forgot we need a dresser. Um, this isn't The Sims 3, guys. <laughs> uh, let me see, dresser. And we'll just do like a simple little one. Yeah, like that's cute. Or maybe we'll do black so it matches the beds. Okay, so she's going to come change into her everyday wear. And doesn't it like Emma look so cute? Or Ella looks so cute with her little bun. Oh, I love it. Anyway, so she's going to eat and then clean up her bowl. Okay, and then while Ella waits, or Fudge, now I'm mixing their names around, while Emma waits, she's just go going to go get her fun up. Um, but Ella here is going to, no, not do that. You're going to clean up and then go change, and then we are ready to open the business, and I'm super excited. Well, she's going to go pee. No, not get a drink. Wash, no, Fudge, Fudge. Okay, and I'm going to have to remember, I'll do it right now. We're gonna lock this and allow household and employees only. Oh, look at the kitty, moonshine. Oh, they don't need a pet right now though. Too much work, too much work. They're just gonna focus on their business. Okay. Okay, I say we open it even though Ella's going to the bathroom, but we're gonna come open our business and I'm so excited. Let's do this. Let's sell some stuff. Yes, yes. Make. Can she make? Nah, she can't make anything really yet. Okay, so we are open for business. Oh, I'm so excited, guys. I'm so excited. Okay, so fine. Go clean the counter. Um, Ella is going to come downstairs. I don't know why I'm just now like mixing up their names because I was doing perfectly fine before. First customer, we got Brooke. I can't pronounce the last name. So we're going to have Ella come over here and, um, wait, what are the options? Do we have any options to like sell or anything? I think we need to wait for her to, um, start looking at something, but let's come chat with her real quick. Oh, and we also have Andrea Lind here. She's going to go play. Okay, girl, sounds good. How about not? Oh, we got Dina Caliente. Oh, she's going to come over here and appreciate and admire her. Or maybe not. That's kind of creepy, right? We're going to come uh, not irritate. Oh, my gosh. Talk and chat. Okay. Andrea here is looking a little confused. And then we're going to say, may I help you? Because she's looking lost. Oh my gosh. Oh, see? Ugh, Emma's not that good with people. 
Oh, perfect. So as you can see, there'll be like a little badge thing. And oh, yes, we got a star. Woohoo. Okay. Oh, and um, Brooke here is looking at some stuff. So let's have, um, we're going to come basic sell. We're not going to play catch with Dina. Oh, I run my own business and we could really use a smart sim like you on our team, Ella. Are on our team. Ella, how would you like to start working in the adventure career as a deep sea excavator for me right now? This is a great opportunity since this is not an entry level job. No, sorry. We're going to run our own business, but thanks for the offer. Um, let's, can we do more cell stuff? We're going to wait. Okay. Yep. There we go. Now we can basic sell. So many girls all up in here. Okay, and we'll just basic sell again to Brooke here. Oh, we got mail. That's probably the bills, which we're really going to need to pay, you know? Let's come over here and let's basic sell again. Ooh, look how close. I don't know why, but these always reminded me of carrots. Does anyone else feel that way? Whenever I was younger, I was like, I feel like this is like a carrot. Okay, so as you can see, she completed it and she's ready to check out. So we're going to come have Ella be a cashier. Or maybe not. Maybe that was a bad idea. I take it back. No, we're not going to play catch. She's... Oh my gosh, Emma, you are driving me crazy. Goodness. Okay. So be cashier. Oh, she's still shopping. I guess she's not ready. Okay. So stop being cashier and come over here and do another basic sell. That's awesome. They're looking at more stuff. And then these little signs right here show that there's nothing there that's out of stock. So we can restock this. Oh, congratulations. Your business is now rank one and you have gained a point to spend on business perks. Click on the business perks button on the business tracker and choose your new perk. Um, we'll do that at the end of the day. I'd rather just wait. Um, but business perks just help you with your business and help you... Um, get things like to help with your business what oh uh, no are you kidding me okay come over here dina's super close stop trying to go and play games oh oh now we're rank one again okay and we're gonna do a basic sell again it's like kind of cramped in here obviously but we're just gonna have to deal with it right now okay oh and dina i think is ready to check out so we will have her go do that oh it's like trapped in here no we gotta get to her bring up these customers come on okay emma how about you move Real quick. Okay, there we go. Restock. Restock that. Okay, so as you can see, when they have the little bags with the simoleon sign on it, that means that they're ready to check out. And that's what we're doing, obviously. So this is going to be our first sell ever. It's with Dina Caliente. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm just trying to get a photo here. Okay. Oh my gosh, I suck at this. Yay! <gasps> yes! And obviously over time, Ella will be able to work the, the cashier uh, or the cash register better. Um, congratulations. This is the first million earned by Emma from blah, 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 blah. It's been in her inventory. So we can hang up the little dollar or our first dollar made, which is pretty exciting. Um, but anyway, so we're going to come over here. No, you're not going to toss a football. We're going to come up here. She needs to use the bathroom, so we will do that real quick. And then what needs to be replaced in here? Gelatin. So we will serve dessert gelatin. Okay. Oh, no, we're losing stars. Obviously, this is like our very first day being open. So we're going to be learning a lot of different things and whatnot. So. Okay. And Emma has like all these wants of business stuff. I think I'm going to lock this one in, honestly. Okay, so we still have Andrea looking, and now we have Armando Cox. I think he might like Ella, because he, he came back, you know? He's like, hey, checking out your business on the very first day. Oh, are you kidding me? The sink broke. Of course it did. Okay, so we're going to come over here and do a basic sell. 
Oh, wow. Brooke just bought stuff, and then she went back and is buying some more stuff. She really likes them birthday cakes. Oh, whoops. No, no, no. Don't serve that. Put that down, girl. Put it on the ground. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to drag this over so we can restock. Or wait, can I? No. So, since I can't, like, restock, restock it, what I'm going to do, I have to go in her inventory, put this, whoops, put this in her inventory, and then she has to come over and restock it. So, it's kind of annoying, but kind of helpful at the same time. I don't know if that makes sense. It's just, um, so, like, she can go and make a bunch of stuff, um, and then go and, like, put in her inventory and then restock throughout the day, if that makes any sense at all. Um, but yeah, oh my gosh, I'm like super excited about this. Sorry if this part runs a little bit longer, but you know what? I figured it's going to be fun. It's going to be chill. Why not? Um, actually, let's come do a basic sell over here. And she'll work with Armando. I feel like Emma's like trying like really hard, but she's just not like that personable with people. And so she kind of has a harder time with it. I feel kind of bad. <laughs> Okay. So actually, let's have Emma come over here and restock. Oh, you're not going to play catch. This is like all they want to do is just play catch. So it's going to be successful. Over time, once they get a better, um, once they get a better, they get better at selling, there'll be more options here and you can do fancier selling. And it obviously over time, their skills are going to increase. It's a, like a basic, like, um, like a hidden skill, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so it's like a hidden skill, and so like everything in the open for business stuff is like a hidden skill, which is really awesome because your sim can work on it and they'll get better over time, which helps helps grow your business. So eventually, she'll be able to ring up people, no problem, and they'll be able to sell a lot quicker than it, they do right now. Like right now, <laughs> Emma, girl, can you please stop? Girl, just stop. How about you go eat some? Um, leftovers and we'll have Ella here come do a basic sell to bring that back up because Emma made a drop <laughs> we'll just have some leftover mac and cheese I feel like that works right cool and then she'll have to make sure to put the leftovers away when she's done okay oh we have like people out here Michelle oh my gosh this lady like hates us okay maybe not do a basic sell maybe um entertain with a joke Oh, Dina's back. Hey, girl, why are you back? She's like, I need more gelatin, guys. I need more gelatin. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I think they will end the day at uh, maybe 4 or 5 o'clock. 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. Okay, and she's going to come ring up these customers when she's done telling a joke to maybe bring back the cell. Maybe. Okay. Oh, the phone's ringing, too. I'm going to answer that. But yeah, this is basically what it's like to open your own business and be able to run it. I think this is so much fun, though. Honestly, like, I cannot wait to grow our business and maybe, hopefully, eventually get, our, like, our own plot of land and open, like, a huge bakery. I think that would be awesome. And it will also be very helpful once we have employees. That would be awesome. And if we have it on another plot of land, we can have a manager and they'll go in and run the business for us. So we don't even have to go in, but we'll still make money that way. Which I think is super awesome. Okay, so Ella is going to go eat because she really needs to eat. Um, and Emma will come be a cash register real quick. Get leftovers. Now, I don't know if they can actually really, like, sit down and eat their desserts. I, I'm not sure. I need to look that up and everything. Um, but that would be super awesome if they can. Oh, look it. It's Mortimer Goth. Okay. About 5 o'clock, we're going to have to close down the, st the, blah, 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 the store. I, can, I was, like, confused. I'm like, do I want to say shop? Do I want to say store? I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. And Emma's, like, taking forever. She looks so confused. Oh, no. When I first started re wor uh, working retail, that would happen to me because I would forget to move back. <laughs> kind of sucks. Uh, we can do a basic sell, I guess. 
but we're gonna have to close the store in a few minutes. And like, I don't want to, uh, ugh, but we're gonna have to. So we'll come over here. Cause if not, then I'll just keep running this business for like the longest time and like never close it down. <laughs> and that's not good. You know, more and more so close to buying something. Um, but Emma wants to work on her cells. She wants to get a talent badge. So that's good. And Ella doesn't freaking care. She just wants to fall in love. <laughs> so, you know, priorities, priorities. So um, let's look over here at all the stuff that we did today. So customer loyalty. Um, Andrea likes us. And Brooke likes us. And these are all the people that came onto our lot. But Dina likes us. And so does Armando. Uh, obviously, we don't have employees right now. So our cash flow is in the negative uh, negative $320, so we lost $320. Um, obviously, over time, it'll, it'll go up. Um, but our business rank one, we are a tenderfoot trader. Our business value is $5,000, which isn't good at all. <laughs> and customer loyalty stars is five. So we have five loyalty stars, which is pretty awesome. And to become the next level, we need two customer loyalty stars, or two more. Um, and so these are our business perks, this little center middle thing and um you earn points that you can use to get perks if it loads if it like doesn't crash on me okay um so these are pretty cool um, there's a bunch of different uh groupings of them so right here we have connections perception cash wholesale and motivation so we can either do a notable reputation. People are getting to know who you are and they like what they hear. You'll now enjoy a starting boost to all of your new relationships. Or we can have um, assess mood. You've gotten a pretty good idea of what a happy customer looks like. Now you can use assess mood to evaluate how perky or peeved another sim is. And that makes you a happy sim yourself. Um, lay turn, lay, le tenue, le tenue prize. I don't know how to say that. Nice job. On the recommendation of some of your customers, you've won the, you know, prize for new business owners. <laughs> Wholesale discount. ka -ching. Your growing fame as a business owner has motivated your suppliers to offer you a discount on future pur purchases. Um, or simply influential. While most people need a boatload of friends to be really influential, you just need to be yourself. With this perk, your capacity for influence will take a nice swing upwards. Um, I'm kind of torn between these two. Obviously, cash is never bad. Um, but wholesale would really help us because we are buying a lot of wholesale stuff right now and it would be cheaper um i don't know okay maybe let's do wholesale i'm just gonna do wholesale i know it seems like cash would be like the better way to go but i'm gonna do wholesale i think that works so when we go and like buy stuff and restock it it won't cost as much which i think is great because right now we're buying a lot of stuff because they can't uh, bake stuff. So I'm going to continue working on their, um, skill, their cooking skills. So they can start making more stuff so that we don't have to buy as much, which I think would help. Um, but we are probably going to need to go shopping for groceries soon. Uh, that's something that you have to do in the Sims 2 is buy groceries. So not as nice and easy as the Sims 3, but still. Anyways, I am going to end this part here. I know it was kind of all over the place, but we're just, you know, jumping into this LP and we're still, I'm still learning like all the stuff that needs to happen um, and trying to get my controls right because it feels so different in The Sims 2. I don't know why. It just, everything feels like really weird. Um, so I'm just trying to adjust, but yeah, hopefully you guys like this. Let me know what you think of the layout. If you like the layout, um, and also give me any suggestions or tips that you guys have for running a business. I'm going to go and do some Google research and uh, see some tips on a successful bakery, how to do that. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my very next video. Bye guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also if you aren't already subscribed, make sure to click that button down below. If you want to see more of me, you can check out my links to the side. I have my Twitter where I ramble all day. And I also have my other YouTube channel where I make beauty and fashion videos. So make sure to check them out. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.